This fine morning. Other places I'd rather be. Yeah, me too. So, how long have you been waiting here? Um, I don't know. I there's no clock. I don't wear a watch, and when I came in, they took my cell phone away. Yeah, they have to take certain things. It's just one of the rules. But other than that, are you comfortable? This is ridiculous. Am I under arrest? No, let me explain. I'm going to ask you some simple questions. The woman behind you is the witness. There's no good cop, bad cop routine. There's no people behind that mirror. There's no light shining in your face. It's just us. That should clear it up. I still don't understand. So do I get my one phone call? Yes, but later. Just hold on a little bit longer. I've been waiting long enough. You know, I was supposed to be at work this morning. Okay. I'm going to be honest with you, and I hope you're the same with me. The department called me in, not because I'm the best at what I do, but because I live the closest and I answered my phone. Now I'm aware of how early it is, and I'm going to try my best not to complicate things and get you out of here fast, okay? Now, I have to record because I have some information on file, okay? Case number 139. Lakeview Road. Before you're brought in, did the boys in blue read you your rights? Okay, my job is to question people to see their potential suspects. Now, how I behave is completely up to you. Is that understood? You may think you're calm. But I've seen many sitting in that same spot. I can see a bit of nervousness in you. If you're innocent, tell me why you look so shaken up. Shaken up because I'm being treated unfairly. I didn't do anything. Being unfair? Who says the law is fair? If you think I'm being unjust now, you have no clue what's coming if there's no cooperation. Sooner. Sure. Remember, try to keep your answers as short as possible. Alright. Do you recall the officers reading you your rights? Yes. Why were you walking on Lakeview Road at 1 a.m.? I was walking to work. Where do you work? Short Point Warehouse. And what are your hours at the warehouse? 2 to 10 a.m. How long have you been working there? Four months. The past four months, have you walked to work? No. What was your transportation? I have a car. It's just acting up right now. If your car's not working, why not just call out of work? I have to fix my car. I can't afford to call out. Did you call any of your friends or coworkers for a ride to work? I don't have many friends. I don't like owing people favors. 
If you are walking to work, where is your warehouse uniform? I work in the early mornings. A uniform isn't really required. Okay. Every person has a story, and everybody has their side of each story. Don't you agree? Yeah, I guess. Explain to me what happened and what you know so far. I woke up around 12 a.m., I got in the shower, I got dressed. I ate something real fast, then I walked out ready for work. Started walking down when your boys in blue stopped me. I took my ID, called it in, and now I'm here. See this now? It's not so hard to cooperate. I mean, I ask you questions, you give me answers. You're doing fine. Can I have my one phone call now? Alright, we're going to stop for a moment so you can have your one free call. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. It's not available. At the tone, please record your message. Mom? I'm at the police department being questioned. Ugh. Don't worry, I didn't do anything. I just want to let you know where I was. I just, could you call the warehouse, let them know why I didn't show up for work? I love you. See you soon. She calls back, I'll let you talk for a minute. What more do I have to say? I just need a few more details. Am I the only one being questioned? Sit tight, I'll be back in a minute. Yes? No, she hasn't contacted me. I'm sure she's fine. Don't stress so much. Listen, I'm in the middle of a case. Okay, listen, I'm in the middle of a case. I will check in later. She's not a little kid anymore. She'll pop up soon, I'm sure. I love you, honey. Oh yeah, hey, before I forget, how's that case you were on last week? Well, it was a cakewalk. Not even 10 minutes of questioning. And the guy was shaking so hard, I had to tell him to relax. Too sad to be funny, though. Really. So, Major Detective, when are you going to let me take you out to dinner? When you leave your husband. Better not be teasing me. No, I don't tease. Tomorrow night, then? Now look who's teasing who. Can I get up, stretch my legs, and fall asleep? No, we're almost done here anyway. Let's just keep going and get this out of the way first. Were you aware of the crime scene on Lakeview Road? No. As you were walking, before the officer stopped you, did you notice anything like other civilians or something suspicious? No, I was too worried about getting to work on time. It's your mother. Try to keep it short, okay? Right. What is it this time? How am I supposed to believe you? You're always lying. You lie so much. Look, I don't want to be connected to anything you're a part of. It's way too early for this. Do you have children? Two. Boy and a girl. Do you love them no matter what? Of course. I don't believe you. <laughs> now that I think about it, you remind me a little of mine. I need you to give me a full explanation of everything that transpired. I already told you everything. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Forgot to mark that down. Oh, 
Come on, I don't have time for this crap. Hey. Hey. You want some? No, thank you. Hey, can I actually ask you something? Sure. You've done a lot of these interrogation things, right? Quite a few. How do they usually end? It depends on the person, but usually not too good. Okay, if you were me, what would you do? I don't know. Here, thanks. Not only are you an alcoholic, but you're the world's worst witness. Okay, I am not an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to give you something to calm your nerves. Mm -hmm. I can offer you some advice. All right. Just take your time, relax, be honest, try and answer all of the questions. And if you're still nervous, just close your eyes and think of your favorite place. Thanks. I have to go to the restroom. Hey, can I have a drink? Uh Water. Water. Yes? See, I told you she'd come home soon. Wait, what? Slow down. I don't understand. She was where? How did she get involved with that? Is she hurt badly? What do you mean? No, because I'll make things worse. Just, just give me time to think this out. Does she know that you are applying for her position? No. We haven't spoken in a while. You have work to do. Playtime's over. Are we done here? Why is she leaving? Shut the hell up. What? What did you just say to me? Shut up. You have no right to talk to me that way. Can I ask you a question? Why does it take so long for you to answer? If I answer fast, it tends to be wrong. I don't know. Maybe. Or maybe you're trying hard to cover up your tracks to save yourself. No. Don't lie. It will not help. No. I already told you the truth. Why would I lie? For what reason? We have a witness saying a person fitting your description walking away from the scene of the crime in the same direction you were found walking. I am not involved with that. I have no idea where that crime scene was. I'm going to... I was going to the warehouse. I... Officers are searching the entire area and so far any potential suspect is you. I called the warehouse and no one answered. So will you stop at this? I was on my way to work crap. That can't be possible. But yet it is. I know my rights. You can't keep me here. That means I have every right. All the evidence points to you. Now, we are at the point where I can decide if you're lying to me. I can put you away, and then the judge and jury will choose if you stay away. I think I'm done talking now. I'm waiting for my appointed lawyer. Well, I don't buy There is no way. There is no one else now. to blame. By that coincidence. We have a there is no way. way. There is no one else to blame. You did it, didn't you? Walking you did it. Call the warehouse crime and no one answered. Stop it. I was on my way to walk crap. All the evidence your future. points to you. What? So far, now, all the only potential suspect you. is you. You're at the point now, where I can decide if you're lying to me. I can put you away, and then the judge and jury will choose if you stay away. Just close your eyes and think of your favorite place.
Excuse me. Yes? Here's some forms that need to be overlooked and signed. I'm in all something important. Can't this wait? Actually, no, it can't. It has to do with the current case going on to identify the next of kin. Okay, quickly. Also, the crime scene investigator would like to see you. I'm very busy. You want to see me or do you have evidence? Yes, I'm sorry to interrupt, ma'am. I was one of the first officers to arrive on the scene. And I actually had the privilege of bringing a suspect down to the station. Yeah, I'm sorry. I haven't been down to the site yet. I've only seen the pictures. Well, this is all kind of really hazy to me because this has really been a very quiet area for some time now. I completely understand. What we do is not easy, but it's necessary. You wanted to see me because... After I dropped the suspect off at the station, I rode back down to the crime scene to see if I can pick up some more clues and have something that would be very, very useful to you. Job. Thank you, ma'am. Sorry to interrupt. Does this look familiar to you? The officers found it. They picked you up. It has your fingerprints on it. You can't be serious. I am completely serious. Why is this happening to me? Why are you doing this to me? I'm only doing my job. <laughs> Your job is to destroy my life? Why are you so set against me? I seek the truth, and anybody that breaks the law, I am against. I don't even know what you want me to confess to. I could be anything. I won't do it. You must have a short-term memory, because you forgot about so quickly about the murder and the theft? Murder? I can never, I, I can never kill anyone in theft. If I stole something, don't you think your officers would have found something when they searched me? You probably hid the stolen items with the gun. But don't worry, if they found the gun, they'll find the everything else as well. No, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Stop lying! I thought before when you were just asking me simple questions and now you're trying so hard to get me to confess. I... What happened? What suddenly made you flip a switch? Pizza nowadays not so bad. The media makes it worse than it really is. Trying to scare people not to break the law. But the point is, you'll be fine. Listen to me! Sit down! Sit down now! To look at one problem one way is a mistake, and I am telling you you're wrong, and I'm innocent. You have nothing left. You have no friends. Your own mother abandoned you. Your best option is to confess. Things will go easy on you if you tell the truth. Trust me. No. I bet you want to see if that gun is loaded. The department sometimes forgets to unload it. Only sometimes. I'm not stupid. People can't always say certain things out loud. It's better if they write them down. I want to see my daughter. She was brought in for questioning. Sorry to listen to your conversation, but I heard you say something about your daughter. Yes, who are you? I'm a state-appointed attorney, and I will be representing her. Why? I mean, are the charges that serious against her? Well, I know this can be distressing, but if you just stick with me, everything will be okay, and you'll get to see her. Detective! Could you please go to room 9? For some reason, they're not answering my calls. Open up. Open. Open up. 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 Open up.
Open the door. Open the Open the door. Open the door. What's going on in here? What's going on in here? Let go of me. Let go. She tried to get the gun. She's trying to kill me. She tried to grab the gun. She's trying to kill me. It is.